Kylithia has had her mug in the air cheering and she takes her drink. The leaders of Vord are standing and sort of nodding. And Matthias with the dragon marked leaders of Dragon Reach stand as all of you sit. And one man is in the corner with his finger up his ass. Did I hear you right? He's no longer part that he's no longer a house member, Amani. He is he's been stripped of his overarching powers. He never technically had them, but it appears that as he was the only one left of certain sections and factions, he obtained power. Have you gotten all the information out of him that you needed? If you want to make him an idiot, I'm all right with that. All right. <laughs> At that, Inkle say, oh boy, and stand up and crack his knuckles. <laughs> Don't forget, we have a, a dinner date. This uh, should be here in a little bit. Yeah, I think it would be bad manners to have that whole thing, whatever you're planning. Going I'll just, on. Just, just put him in the room until later. It's fine. Which room are you referencing here? <laughs> I assume you've explored this place. I think you know which room we're talking about, if you've explored this place. <laughs> I he's have. On, he's on a different page. As your plate begins to tremble, and, like, you reach down, you're like, oh shit, cookie! And the, the plate just goes, Chick! and your, <laughs> your cookie goes and melts away. <laughs> but there does appear to be a single cookie left on the table for you. Ron will take it and start mumbling on it secretly because he's he didn't eat at all and he's kind of hungry. Go over to Amani and crouch down. You, sir, are going to come on a little road trip with me. <laughs> oh, you bitch! You, I will, I will make you pay. I will make you, all of you, pay for this. Uh, would any, uh, Daphne, would you like to come with me and escort us to the rooms below? I want to go too. Okay. Anyone else? <laughs> I, 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 yes. <laughs> I've been to work in off there, party. and I wouldn't wish it on my worst. Enemy. We're not going to that one, dear. Oh. There's more. Oh no. <laughs> you you see, as Matthias is like looking over as he's having a discussion, and he's like got a look in his face and a half grin. I lean towards Tonic and finishing up my cookie. I don't think he has that the same room in mind. Yeah, uh, just for clarification, I was I was talking about the uh, that weird isolation room. Oh, you, you, yeah. That's what I was thinking that's too, but I think he right. has the other room in mind. I, oh God, oh no, God. I, 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 no, I was, I was just thinking the, the, isol the, the crazy <laughs> chamber, you know? Yeah. I just feel like it's ours and um, I feel I'm like not... we gave the wrong I would person. really fuck with them. A bit. There's other been there for like 10 seconds. The other, the, the, I mean, the other one would fuck with him too, but yeah, yeah. You know, uh, well, require yeah. another person. No, there's more cells. It's the white one, and there are others. We can only find and the one across. Mm. What the other ones do if we <laughs> what test it do? that experiment. Exactly. Well, <laughs> wait, one wait, to wait, break wait, the wait, spirit, wait, 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 one to break the wait, body. Wait, wait. <laughs> so here, mm. here's my plan. House... Let's let let's walk and talk. Let's walk and talk. Yeah, mm -hmm. just kind of <laughs> carry him down. You hit a stair wrong, and you just hear. A... <laughs> oh, God. We're gonna put him in one of these dungeons. Ideally, I would love it if you could make sure he's awake every thirty minutes until I come collect him. I guess we just throw him in one and see what happens. He's going to pull him off his shoulder and kind of like lean into the cot, but he's not gonna just throw him in there. He's going to be somewhat gentle. He's going to take his head and, and put it down the cot and kind of push him into the cot and say, welcome home. Soon he's probably going to be able to start doing things. Make sure he can't use any magic, can't get out, lock him in there until we say to stop. I wonder what that's doing to his mind, his compulsion to stick his thumb up his butt, but he can't. Um, can't it's, it. it's an <laughs> itch that can't be scratched. <laughs> <laughs> Rowan's going to point in there he kind of he's not really liking that is there any way we can put those cufflings on his wrist to where he can't use magic but let him have movement somewhat more movement than restraining him to a wall i don't uh... you're being awfully kind to someone we're oh, gonna Rowan, interrogate. Um, we're gonna things, I think. take care of that uh go if you want to go wait upstairs 
I think yeah. I'm gonna go in yeah. and make sure he's comfortable. Yeah. Uh, Butler, make sure down. he just has water. Rowan's just gonna walk up the stairs. Let's Rowan's out of sight. I'm gonna be look at Amara and Ink guys back. Like, okay, like what are you guys actually planning? Because I don't plan on letting him free, but right. I feel bad. I just lied to Rowan. So I just wanted to beat his ass. So here's what I'm thinking. Uh one I know you need to go look at the Orcus room. I want to know why he wasn't part of the sacrificial circle. That has been itching me since we met this loud son of a bitch. While up in the uh, living room by the fire, pardon me, all everybody, I see that this is an important conversation, but I believe there's also an important one we need to have before our dinner guest arrives. What we found down there is, of course, ancient powerful magical technology but there was also a being or at least its essence it let us know what happened how the technology came to be here all evidence points to these beings this force not being defeated but just going away i have a feeling they will would at some point want to come back for whatever their original purpose was i don't know if it was this being and the technology his kind created was extremely and is extremely powerful. And they had a hard time fighting this entity. While this is a time to celebrate, it is also, I think, a time to start preparing ourselves for something worse on the horizon. Enjoy your evening, sir. I have lots of... We have lots of questions to ask you in the morning. Enjoy your rest. You see, like, he, he glares at you from the other side of the door. and he, Like, he says something, but you don't hear anything come through. Um, and he, like, makes a hand gesture with a, a, a finger. It seems to yell and scream, but doesn't... You don't hear anything. So Ink will uh, put a middle finger up to the window and just say, Nice hands, jackass! And then <laughs> go upstairs. All of you make it back up, and you see, like, people are, like, filing out. Akron's had a... Had, he's sort of moving away from... Kylithia and uh, and Virus and Matthias as he's like finishing up that conversation. Looking up, you see as a uh, redheaded, older looking woman is now standing in the doorway with sort of a befuddled look on her face. Thomas, good to see you. Ah, hi, dear. Um, what is uh? Thought we were having dinner this evening. We are. It's all of this dinner party, clearly. Thomas, hey. And just hi. Wave goofyly. <laughs> on the side of the house. It's so sad that you're still alive, but that's good. <laughs> right. I'm gonna turn to Virus. <laughs> Come on in, let's start drinking. Virus just sort of like shrugs. We're not being occupied, are we? <laughs> no, not at all. No, just some help since the disaster that has occurred. I was very curious about that, I says. Uh, there appear to be a lot of holes, holes? everywhere. Yes, it is a holy mess. Diver's gonna run up excited and be like, Hey, come take a look down. I want to show you the setup downstairs. Come on, I'm oh, around. That'd be, I would love to, yes. Yeah, I'll bring her down and like start just excitingly like showing her all the grow lights and setup. Wow. And then I got this section over in the dark black room, essentially. Also, as another thank you, and I'll pull out the little half vial of the blue powder and I'll hand that to her and be like, we found this when we were on some adventures and figured it might come in handy to you. I grabbed one of their bottles of whiskey off the the shelf and poured three glasses, one for Amara, one for Tonis, and one for himself. And he'd probably be waiting for them to come back up while holding one in his hand. I'd like to make my way over to Tinek. I'm going to lean on him, pull out three phalange bones, It'll open his, not paw, his hand <laughs> <laughs> put them inside i have something i would like to ask you to help me create all right all right i i, I want to make a necklace for rowan and uh if possible if you're good with metal um something that would have some flex to kind of bind the joints a bit so he could fidget with it a little bit and have a little give mm, well I'm fairly certain I could come up with something to give it kind of like a, a little uh, appendage <laughs> type fashion. 
I've actually worked with Bones before in the past, so this would be fun. Oh, really? Well, me too. <laughs> oh, that's news to me. Never would oh, guess that. Never. <laughs> uh, I imagine this is a uh, sea rich. Yes. Yeah, I can help you with that. Uh, sounds like it'll be a fun. I don't know if uh, I'll be able to contribute, but I think you've already got something as far as enchantments go in mind. Kind of, but if you think of anything, I'm open to ideas. Oh, I ain't gonna. I'm I'm dabbling. When, once I'm a little more proficient, then maybe I'll start throwing out ideas. But I'll just be happy if I can get an enchantment to stick. Yes, uh, ink, of course. Uh, what can I help you with? I need to check out that uh circle in the basement that we fought. You know who? I'm gonna raise my glass to those that we've lost. To those that we don't even remember we've lost. But to those that we've saved and to the night that's going to be merry with the friends we have. Cheer. Cheer. Yeah. Cheers. What trials and tribulations? What stories did you want to tell me about? I'll tell you about the story about how Akron found himself into a, a battle arena. Bring yes. out the weapons. Of course. Maso, uh, be happy to do that. <laughs> A clear bottle sits and there's liquid on the inside and it seems to like give off this very faint glow. And then pour a line of shots. <laughs> uh, and each shot has like has is like a blue, faint blue liquid in each one. Um like she is kind of like that rejuvenation serum. She's looking at it, and she's like, I have not had this before. I think I'm, um, uh, I'm good with my whiskey. And Rowan's just gonna kind of throw a little nod towards Akron. Oh, well, then that's the second shot for me. Taunus, there is, like, her eyes go really big upon taking her shot, and she's like, oh, fuck. You are you are frat boy after an entire case of natty light <laughs> level plastered. You are gonna be hurling. You're going to end up hugging the porcelain god. You're fucked. I'll go ahead and spin the key. You step uh, down and into this room. The etchings of the floor are really just burned into place he's gonna go around the room and look see if they maybe drop the book down here or if they dropped anything uh there is a demon omicron a summoning guide for summoning greater demons you find them you pull them out and you you see that these are the books that you were looking for that you're referencing uh ink will put the demon omicron in his bag and mm -hmm. use the summoning guide and Flip through, see if the same circle that's on the floor is in there. Feel power sort of pulse out of your body. You're starting to remember. <laughs> I want out. Feel as the crazy train. <laughs> Sounds echo through your mind. The power of the coin as you placed it into your hand. And you now remember. <laughs> I need to find another train to put you in. Mm, you are my train now, boy. As you see portions of the blood pulling out through your pores in your hands and arms. As it begins to coat your fingers in ice. You're the crazy train now, boy. I have you now. Hmm. <laughs> this might be troubling in the future, but for now, this is pretty cool. We can work as a team, yes? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Why not? Just work with the crazy voice in my head that's freezing my hands. <laughs> uh, Mara, you're sitting there, like, sitting back with uh, as you watch Thanos, Davner... Uh, and uh, a tunic all raving as hard as they can with like a curled up in the corner going I have not had a cigar in ages 
you, it appears in your like it appears in front of you what do the three of you want to do since you're the sober ones <laughs> the rest of you three are all fucking either plastered drunk or dude bro in it in the corner so <laughs> Dude, hey, uh, come on! Fucking... Huh? What? Come on! What are you doing? And Rowan's gonna like reach for his forearm and just kind of throw him into Amara to dance with Amara. A shot of the blue liquid. I'm gonna point to it. I'm not gonna say anything. Just okay. Point at it. Pink, do you want to take a shot of the blue liquid? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everybody's uh, here. Have two. He I'm wants to have fun. Too. He says, "Yeah." It's They're all holding fun. glow sticks too. <laughs> oh yeah, and yeah, they've all got like fucking glow sticks up. Uh, Tunex got a whistle, and he's doing the just the beep 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 beep. beep. <laughs> <laughs> the, what the beep. is actually yeah, happening just, in this I house? I'm over by Davner, kind of up along the wall now, just. Daphne's like trying to sleep <laughs> next to him wailing. Hey, it's it's a dirty job, but someone's gotta do it. There's yeah. gotta be that one guy in the corner at the party. Hey, uh, why don't you and I go have a party of our own? Or start dancing away towards the stairs. We'll look at the party, look at her, look at the her and just run after Amara. First off, I want Amara, Ink Eyes, and Daphne come together as Rowan, Akron, and Tona cleave the house for what may be a little bit more of a dirtier job. You head downstairs and meet together and stop outside of the holding cell. Before we get up, Ink Guys is gonna let out a sigh and then say into his bracelet, Butler, tighten our, uh, guest up against the wall again well you want me to talk to him and yeah <sighs> yeah maybe good cop bad cop this but yeah I'll... that might not work with him i'll try to be good cop you just threaten to beat the shit out of him for now i guess so i mean i'm going to actionable plan here do you know what questions you're asking uh why he wasn't involved in the general mutiny i would like to know why he fixed fixated on hating us so much you know if it's just something beyond we happen to save the regent because well, he's rather than a twat so here's an idea mari you ask questions uh, and guys go jumps to violence and then i'll try to rein and guys back and be his friend I need you actually to ask the questions because I'm going to try to be in his brain gotcha. figuring out if he's being honest. So and... why he hates us. Why he wasn't involved. Yeah. Before we go in, I'm going to give uh, Davner my notes on what was all in that room. Maybe start with the demon shit first and then the personal shit later. You guys are ready? I'm ready. Can't see in the window. Is he restrained? It'll, and guys will look in. You look in. You see as he's like, he's against the wall once again. His hands up. Good to go. Yep. Go in first. Looking around the room, it's been thrown around. Like, the beds have been tipped over. The mattresses are torn and ripped. And he seems to have a general wildness to his eyes. And we're looking around, it's going to be like, so I'm guessing our accommodations weren't to your liking. Fuck you. <laughs> wow, so much hostility. Good morning could have fucking helped. I just want to talk, man. He's the one you got to worry about. want to talk, about. you could have actually let me sleep. I mean, eh, I tried, but I got outvoted. He just stares at you. Why... Uh, Why weren't you involved? When you question, I'll cast Detect Thoughts. Uh, what does he know about the attempted coup? Fuck you, you little midget. Amara, you hear fucking idiots don't know anything at all. There's always a coup in this city. It's how it's founded. I really wish you wouldn't use those words, because <laughs> you see my friend over there. He really likes to punch things, and you're looking pretty. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to make this as painless as possible for everybody. 
I'm going to murder you and your entire family. Well, I don't have a family anymore. <laughs> Let's start with Orcus. Like, kind of like, I'm assuming Ink Eyes is just over there, like, cracking his knuckles. Knuckles yeah. cracked. Amara, Arms when crossed. he when he said when Davner says Orcus, um, you hear in his head, that's what's what the Lord of the House was going to fucking summon. Didn't want any part of that. And to Davner, you hear him like he just looks at you and goes, "Go blow a goat." Well, I didn't want to do this, Ink Eyes. Uh, while well, Ink Eyes does his thing. Um, Amar is going to whisper in Daphne's ear, uh, to ask what lord of the house wanted to summon Orcus. Go back to basics. Simply step <laughs> forward and, uh, just punch him straight in the liver. Okay. <laughs> uh, make an attack roll. Go back to <laughs> basics. Liver punch, yeah. liver punch, liver punch, liver punch, liver punch. Getting, getting punched in the liver fucking hurts. It does. It's it the does. worst yeah. place you it can does. get punched. It is it's also awful. extremely damaging, and you could yes. kill somebody by damaging the liver too much. <laughs> As you see a little bit of blood pop out of his mouth. Um, <laughs> what lord wanted to summon Orcus? <laughs> Go fuck a dog! Uh, and he, he, like, seems to, like, breathe hard and... Well, if violence isn't gonna loosen your tone... Say that, as your, like, violence won't loosen your tone, and Amara, you begin to push deeper into his mind. You actually see, like, a flash of an image. Armani sitting there at a lower table with multiple lords up having a discussion and he seems to just be watching off to the side we need to take matthias down we i know that we need to take it what are we going to do look there's only one way the lord of the undead will come to our aid if we call him we will need to sacrifice the one who was marked with the mark to him that is not a good idea you hear Amani off the side. If you give him to Orcus, he will come back for more. And I don't care about Matthias, but he will come to eat us because he will like the power. We need to come. We're going to summon him now. We need to get him here. He's on his way back. He will be returning. We've just gotten word that he'll be returning on a flying ship. He won't let any of you live. That's the point. We need to just kill him. We have to make a statement, Amani. Let's yeah. not beat the shit and see, I'm trying to hold him back. And if punching you doesn't work, we have other means from personal experience. They're not fun. I'm already and fucking aware. Uh, wait. What is the trouble with Matthias being in leadership? What's your issue? What's the point? Fuck you, whore. Been called worse. Uh, Ink is gonna and, punch yeah. him in the nose at that. And you automatically wall off and just <laughs> pop him straight in the face. And you see his, like, his nose instantly breaks. Just shatters. Um, blood begins to pour down his face. And all three of you see a flash in your head. As Amara, you feel a reverb from that almost deafening punch to his face that just hits your mind and then echoes out. And you cannot let the Lord have his way. He's grown too powerful and he's too well liked amongst the people. And you never let him have it. Always let him fight for it. If he's going to rule our city, he'll rule it with people at his back. <laughs> Let him always be afraid that we'll kill him for it. Kill every version of the Sibiris. You can never let the Sibiris have its full way. The dragon-marked people should always, always 
Be balanced to not rule. Are you going to answer her questions? Because I don't think you can take another punch from him. So we might have to resort to some other things that are going to be way more painful. And you see as like a flash of blood spits out and like hits your shoulder. Fuck you, midget. Well, hey guys, don't punch him again. Bring him to the room. Do you think that balance is disseminated because he's no longer the mark? The only mark? There's only one little bitch. As he spits blood more at you. That's okay. You can keep spitting. You guys, I don't think we should kill him. I think we should keep him. That circle down there. Did you help kill the children? You think I would sacrifice the dragon marked blood? They killed their own to kill him. Like idiots. Weakening us all. Either way, potentially, Armani, you could die. You could keep living. But you're giving us a different perspective on things. Might be good for you. Um, Fuck you! Someone's already doing that, dear. Not really sure what to do. I think we should talk to everybody rather than outright drive him stark raving mad. Which we could do. Or, I could take his soul, keep it in a little cage, carry around in my pocket, expose him I mean, to the world. No, we should give... Soul. It's gonna be... I mean, I don't really want him talking to me all the goddamn night, but... And I'll, I'll hand the potion to Amara and be like, you can breach better. Can you give this to him? Absolutely. It's, it's safe. Hmm. All right, Amani, I'm actually good at force feeding people. Lucky for you. Uh, get that nose. And she's going to like. <laughs> <laughs> just his broken I nose. <laughs> Move his beak a bit. Get so try to like fix his nose before wow. giving him like the potion. And he like coughs. <laughs> Won't make me spare you. I'm gonna kill you and every one of you. And You'll try. That's what your daddy wanted, right? So... What a bunch! He's in a very special sort of hell. We will have to kill him eventually, but... Oh, uh, we have learned quite a bit. <laughs> if we need any more questions, we can throw him in that time room for a couple seconds. And... Uh, the thing about that room, I... I don't know if we should use it on him. Torture's bad, but that's that's another realm. I wouldn't do that to my worst enemy. Did they run though? I uh, thought I had the mental fortitude, but uh, here I just am a punching bag in the mental terms. Why is it that the house is fighting against you so much, Matthias? Me specifically. The family. I'm. I mean, they did summon. A demon against you. That's rather extreme. I was not necessarily born this way, but I acquired the more power as it was bestowed upon me by whatever chance of fate. Marks are typically considered something that's bloodline related, but not every person of a bloodline will have any version of the mark, or even the strongest version of the mark. Whenever one gained more power than the other, they would tear yeah, that works. one down. Is that what was being attempted in that chamber that night? I assume. Misguided fools decided that they'd wet my mark out so that they could Garner the next bit of power. I don't know how much you found out about my bloodline or my family, but there are 
old secrets when it comes to my mother's mark. Secrets that I don't even know. But they were afraid of me, and when my mark manifested as the Sybaris one, that made it worse. Simple minds, not thinking clearly, afraid of someone being stronger than them. Rowan, you see as Akron is discussing this with Matthias, and you sort of step back into yourself. You note he does look comfortable in his place as as a leader and people seem to be following his banner and not just humans he's inspired people he's unifying people better than she was before much and he actually reaches down and he presses a button two large cannons slide out from the front of the ship and lock into place. Ethereal cannons. Oh, holy shit, those were there the whole time? And then the back portion of the sides, two more click out. <clears throat> Hello, you... uh, checking house, Rowan. A little, a little butler just up, materializes up on your wrist. <laughs> and, yes. Master. Uh, tell Amara, Davner, and Ink to come meet us at the docks. We're gonna go for a joke ride. Amara, Ink eyes, Davner. You see as a mini version of Rowan appears on your wrist. Uh, tell uh, Amara, Ink eyes, and Davner to meet us on the docks as he's like looking up at you as Butler has mimicked Rowan for you. He's so cute. Okay, what if you just go take his soul? We'll get a dragon and we'll head right on over. Are we... Do you want to take his soul or do you want to just kill him? I well, not me. I mean, I mean, his soul would be useful for Davna. I mean, he's kind of low. I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, to be honest, I'm. Are we agreeing on that? I don't think we, we don't have anything to gain from him being alive and he's if already, he ever yeah. does get out he'll be after us he said so. it was a matter of time I haven't done this in a while <laughs> okay house restrain him <laughs> I really hope I never have to do this again but you really left us no choice with your threats of escape and he'll just go up and you midget. slice his throat <laughs> once the soul goes in the dagger I'll just kind of like, turn around, shake my head, and be like, consume. When Davner steps out of the room, Ink will, uh, pat him on the shoulder. And Davner, you, you look down at your dagger, and you see his two, uh, two more lights are actually filled than you would expect. Oh, that's weird. So there's three lights now? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I got two souls instead of one? Seemingly. So, like, that's weird. Um... Give me a little bit. Amara, Ink that. Eyes, and Davner. I need all of you to move your alignment counters to evil. You have ah. committed an evil act. <laughs> and Davner, you very specifically did. Virus is like sitting there waiting for some sort of response, and then he just goes, or <clears throat> activates the console. The ship lifts into the air. And all of you like feel a sort of a tumble on it as you like you feel like for the first time you're flying into the air. And in a silent flyover, you see and look down, you see as many people are staring up as this new flying ship is moving over them, especially since there's water dripping down off of the bottom of the ship. The ship flies up, down, and hovers in front of the house. I was never one for discreet anyways, perfect. Are readying yourselves to leave, you go to open the door, and right as you're opening the door, there's Tonuk with his hand up to knock. Hey, what's going on, guys? How'd the interrogation go? Oh, well, we learned a few things. Uh, he threatened to get out and kill us and our entire families. He was mm. too much of a risk to be left alive. How was he going to get out anyway? We've been under siege here once already. 
We've been nothing but attacked by these people, and... Wait. So killing him is supposed to make them not want to attack us? I'd rather not die later because of something he does. Um, yeah, Can I... Like... Hey! Come, come here! Check this out. And I'm, I'm just going to point to the, the view of the city from the docks and where we came from. It's beautiful. Yeah. And the ship could take us and Rowan's going to kind of put his hand on Mara's shoulder and point to the mountains in which Cog was heading we could get there probably in no time to get Cog sounds like a good idea I'm going to look down at her she doesn't seem her excited self I feel conflicted but like I did the right thing but gross and I don't want to get into detail right now. Hold her head to his chest and just pull her into a hug. And then just softly and quietly say, whenever you're ready. Rowan's going to go up to Matthias and tap him on the shoulder and kind of gesture him to go to the, the back of the boat. He's going to kind of put his hands over the boat and kind of like lean over. And We've all always gone for each other, but maybe that's why our houses are... are... Our city is as bad as it is. Maybe that's what needs to change. What's up? Maybe we should stop trying to kill each other. I don't know why you guys are doing it from the first place. Well, you got new blood. I do. New Severus blood. We can stop the cycle. I I'd think like we that. can. I think we can be the ones to do, to help. 